We've heard for decades that our saturated fat intake increases LDL cholesterol, and that to reduce our risk of heart disease, heart attack, and stroke, we should avoid foods that are high in saturated fat like butter, red meat, and dairy. But what if that's not always the case? At least, what if that's not the case for certain individuals on a low-carbohydrate diet? More specifically, what if that's not the case for lean mass hyperresponders? Lean mass hyperresponders are a group of people on a low carbohydrate diet who show high LDL and HDL levels while having low triglycerides. A recently published meta analysis presented data challenging the idea that saturated fat consumption causes high LDL cholesterol. The study looked at 41 randomized controlled trials with 1,379 participants who consumed less than 130 grams of carbohydrates per day. Randomized controlled trials are considered the gold standard of evidence in terms of trying to identify a cause and effect relationship. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where we'll go over some criticisms of the study so far. And as always, I'm just a normal person trying to make sense out of things, so I'm in no way trying to give any sort of advice in any of my videos. The data collected so far shows that LDL increases for participants with BMIs below 25 and decreases for those with a BMI above 35. The traditional theory would say that it's the increased saturated fat consumption in a low-carb diet that's causing the increase in LDL cholesterol. But this meta-analysis shows that at least in groups of people on a low-carbohydrate diet, BMI is more strongly associated with high LDL than saturated fat intake is. The study highlights how in medicine and diet, there's never a one-size-fits-all solution. There's always nuance, and there are always exceptions to the rules. It notes that the data collected, quote, may help guide individualized nutritional management of cardiovascular risk, and closes by saying, as carbohydrate restriction tends to improve other lipid and non-lipid risk factors, the clinical significance of isolated LDLC elevation in this context warrants further investigation. These findings and those reported so far in the Keto CCTA Lean Mass Hyperresponder Study challenge the idea that saturated fat raises LDL cholesterol and indicate that more research needs to be done in terms of determining if LDL is a dependent variable in causing heart disease. Some criticisms of the study so far include the fact that all of the included studies in this meta-analysis were short-term, each study lasting between 4 to 104 weeks. Another criticism is that the study wasn't actually low-carb. 130 grams of carbohydrates per day is pretty high, since less than 50 grams per day is what people normally eat if they want to lose weight on a low-carb diet. The Mayo Clinic defines a daily intake of 20 to 57 grams of carbohydrates as a typical low-carb diet. There's no actual definition of a low-carb diet, though, and some sources say an intake of 150 grams of carbs per day counts as low-carb. A third criticism is that the interventional period of greater than two weeks is too short. The average interventional period of the studies in this meta-analysis was 19.4 weeks, which some critics say still isn't long enough to provide strong data. There's still a lot of research that needs to be done, but this study adds to the growing amount of data that questions the idea that saturated fat causes high LDL levels, at least in some people. It also shows that we have much more to learn in terms of LDL's relationship to heart disease. Butter, red meat, and dairy have often been blamed for causing heart disease, but will people still make this argument as more studies like this are published? But what do you think? Are you surprised by any of these findings? Do you think more research needs to be done regarding LDL's role in heart disease, or do you think current evidence proves that LDL causes it? Does 130 grams of carbohydrates qualify as a low-carb diet? Let us know in the comments below. And I'd like to give a huge shout out to everybody who's commented on my other videos and continued the conversations that we've been talking about. Um, I make all of these videos by myself and it's a lot of work, so I really, really appreciate it when so many people reach out to me in the comments or even via email. So yeah, and I just wanted to say thank you so much. Please give this video a like to help with the algorithm. And if you learned something new or found this video useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.